When things fall through the atmosphere at such speeds, they get very hot, like hundreds of degrees hot. And this happens to millions of tons of material everywhere. This rapidly heats up the atmosphere to insane temperatures. How bad the global effects of this were is contested, but if enough heat reached the surface, a lot of plants and animals would have died very quickly if they couldn't bury themselves or escape into caves. The heat together with raining debris also may have ignited material on forest floors and sparked wildfires as the earth rotated under the searing hot plume. In a few hours, Massive wildfires were probably burning around the globe. Some of them may have lasted for months and turned Earth into a horrifying, hot, hellish version of itself. As the day of the impact draws to an end, many of the dinosaurs are already dead, but the worst is still to come. The gigantic plume of vaporized material reaches the upper atmosphere and spreads around the whole globe. Together with the soot from the burning planet and the aerosols generated at impact, the planet sinks into a deep darkness with only the remaining raging fires illuminating the scenery. Whatever plants survived the first storms will now be starved for sunlight as global photosynthesis is temporarily shut down. Within days, temperatures crash as much as 25 degrees Celsius.